Alright guys, it is Pez here again, and yeah, I've decided to do another tutorial, because I think the last one went pretty well, and it went down well with you guys, so yeah, got quite a lot of positive feedback from that, so yeah, I'm going to do another one, um, I am still ill by the way, so sorry for the coughing and sniffing again, but it should be better soon, um, tutorial I'm going to do today, is like a color correction tutorial so where you have an image of colors that you don't want or you just fancy changing them and then you can change them to the colors you want but keep the image the same so yeah let's go through so the first thing you want to do is highlight your layer that you want to change color off I am rendering by the way so sorry for the lag okay so you want to highlight your layer, go to image, adjustments, hue and saturation, and then you'll get this little box come up. You can also get this by pressing control and U, the same box come up. So right, as you can see here, the word master is highlighted. This means that whatever colour you have on this top box here when you slide this bar it's going to change to whatever this colour is going to change to so as you can see now my main colour here is orange so I'm going to slide this bar across and my orange will turn so as you can see the orange here is now above the green and that's what the orange has turned to here and the blue is above the pink which is what it's changed to there so that's how to change both colours at the same time you can also mess with the saturation and stuff like that but I'll leave that for a minute so just going to put that back at zero right, um, you can change one colour at a time by clicking this drop down menu here and you get a list of different sets of colours I want to change the orange colour first so I'm going to pick one of these colours that is closest to the orange so yellow or red probably I'm going to go for yellow as you can see this little box has come up here and these are like your boundaries for yellow so you can increase these and decrease them depending on what you want so now I want to change this it changes just the orange colour as you can see here so I'm gonna keep that I'm gonna make it green like I did yesterday so now I want to change the blue color which is obviously gonna come under blue so here you can see my boundaries have moved to blue so I'm just gonna slide this bar across and they've gone purple and that's pretty much it for this first part guys it's really simple, it looks nice and easy if you want to change colour thing. So let's move on to the next bit. Right here you can see I've got Facebook logo, just white and blue. I'm going to press Ctrl and U, and I'm going to slide the bar across. Now as you can see, the blue is the only colour that changes. Um, and I am on master. Whites and blacks don't change from this bar. So that's easy to play with if you've got a basic colour and a white or a black because you can just change that one colour to make it look nice. Yeah that's really simple, I'll move on to the next bit. So yeah here's my background that you've probably seen a million times now. So I'm going to try to zoom in a bit, I'm going to press Ctrl and U and I'm going to click this little colourised tab here at the bottom. Now as you can see, the whole background has changed colour, except for the black again. So now I want to slide this bar across. It all stays at one colour, and it changes to this colour here at the bottom. So, you can just keep sliding this across till you get a nice colour that you want. You can also play with the saturation. I'm going to keep it at that. 
Um, this is good if you're a graphics designer for say a clown or something and you need to make individual logos because you can just slide your bar across and give each player an individual colour so that's pretty much it guys really quick tutorial I just want to give two shout outs before I go first guy is this guy here which I'm just going to send a message to so yeah Plastic, you probably know him before he was Plastic GFX I'll put his new channel link in the description for you guys and the second guy is a good mate of mine called Jay been good mates with him for uh, quite a while now and yeah just give him a drop him a sub or something he don't ask for much but yeah really good graphics designer go check him out I'll put both links in the description yeah go check him out so yeah that's it guys thanks a lot for watching uh, hopefully get some more feedback on this and I'll probably do some more tutorials later so yeah, thanks a lot guys. See you in a bit.